Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Hardcore Superflat. Today, my friends, the name of the game is completing this base. In the last episode, we got ourselves a lot of resources and more to the point, the ability to get a whole bunch more resources. We have ourselves all of this Nylium here and Netherrack and Bone Blocks, which will grant us the ability to get ourselves Crimson Wood and Warped Wood and various other bits and bobs we may need. So, my friends, if building episodes are your cup of tea, then do be sure, of course, to drop a like beneath the video to show your support. Of course, if you're new around here, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel if you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you really want to go one further with your support, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks, or to get a discount when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So then, a white floor... We've got sort of grayscale, almost black walls. We are going to be going ahead and using... Where is it? There we are. Yeah, we've got ourselves some warped wood here. We're going to make ourselves some warped fences. Okay. And with those warped fences, we're going to use them to make some nice windows. So yeah, we'll start off nice and simple in that we're going to add in these warped fences. And after that, I think probably, to be honest, the biggest thing we need to try and figure out is the ceiling. A way to tie off this build so it's completely safe from the outdoor world. Completely, you know? I mean, to feel safe in your home is a very, very nice thing indeed. Already, just with a few fences here and there, I already feel way, way safer in this base. All right, I think you guys were right in suggesting the warped wood over the crimson wood for this. Works out pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah, very cool. All right, so in terms of the materials for the roof slash ceiling, I was thinking maybe we sort of continue on the grayscale, but only have it be sort of the rim of the roof. And then on the inside of the roof, we maybe use uh, some white blocks. Now, because we don't have calcite slabs or stairs, we're going to have to go ahead and maybe use some diorite. Huh? I mean, alternatively, we could try and get ourselves a bunch of quartz. But well, that would probably be quite the tall task. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Something we'll figure out shortly here, I guess. Ah, oh, man. Again with these guys. Uh, all right. I'm getting my flint and steel. When in doubt, fire it out. Hello there, buttskies. How is it hanging today? Hey, hey, hey. Why don't you go ahead and get killed? Yes. Right, then we go ahead and take out these other fellas, aside from the bannerman. All right, here we go, here we go. Nope, nope, no killage today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, then we go ahead and uh, just set you on fire there real quick. There you have it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, have some more fire. And, well, any second now, you should go bye-bye, yes? Go on, go on, go on. I want to see a fried pillager on the floor. Wait. Can I make him kill himself with his own arrow? That'd be hilarious. Eh, screw it. <laughs> oh, get lit up there, buddy. All right, well, with those guys dispatched of, it is time to try to figure out our roof situation. So, like I say, going to continue on with the grayscale, but only sort of use it as a rim. And then we figure out the insidey parts, I guess. And since this is a slightly larger build, I think it would be nice if we made it a slightly taller than usual roof. So, I'm going to go... Maybe two blocks further up. If I know, maybe three. And then in terms of bringing it up to a point, I was thinking we start off sort of at a slow gradient and then it goes up to a point in the middle. I thought that would be a nice way to go. Uh, the only thing is I feel like we need to actually start off with an even smoother gradient. I don't know. Am I being a little bit too picky when it comes to this thing? I don't know. Probably. Oh, yeah. That is a nice looking curve. Hell yeah, dude. All right, well, all we need to do now is to go ahead and replicate that on this side so it actually becomes a point, and then we need to replicate it across all of the other uh, little points here, the other three areas. All right, we're getting there, my friends. We're getting there. But yeah, this might be a little bit more resource intensive than I first anticipated. I don't know. We'll figure that out in just a second here. So yeah, we've got some stairs to start it off. 
upside down stairs and then it's going to be a double slab then it's going to be a stair right here and then we start going up at a slightly steeper gradient so yep stair upside down stair there we are a little bit of that and then a little bit of that and actually believe it or not that is it <laughs> very very good all right well let's go ahead and see how this is looking we need to get rid of that stair there and i think we'll have this shape in the back my friends i think it's gonna look mighty dang fine yeah look at that Oh, oh, that is great. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and replicate that on all three sides. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we've got it all done. Oh, this is cool. All right, so all we need to do now is pretty much play connect the dots or connect the bits together. So we go ahead and connect up the stairs here around the corners and then we also connect up sort of the emerging crisscross shape at the points there with the deep slate as well. And then as I mentioned the insidey parts are going to be some sort of white block be it quartz or diorite. So yeah it turns out we are going to be needing an incredible amount of stairs and unfortunately I don't actually think we've got enough deep slate to accommodate this whole thing. We might have to do some purposeful deep slate mining. Ah, jeez. Well, that might take a while, considering it takes a while to break, but, you know, it's neither here nor there, really. So, let's go ahead and make some progress. Let's do it. Well, if we're going to go deep slate mining, then we might as well double it up and have it also be an attempt to find some more diamonds. I mean, diamonds are always appreciated, aren't they? So, yeah, let's get ourselves down to deep slate level. All right, well, that's a fairly all right start, isn't it, my friends? A few diamonds while I'm going ahead and mining up some Deep slate here. Yeah. All right. Very, very good. So, four diamond ore giving us nine diamonds. All right. More than double yield. Hey, <laughs> very, very good. All right. Even more diamonds for your boy. Very, very good. We've got one, two, three diamond ores. Ah, bit of a weird amount of walls to have in a vein, but never mind. Not even that heartbroken about it. Not even slightly. All right, I'll tell you what, we've got ourselves several stacks of cobbled deep slate now. I think we are just about ready to get ourselves out of here and get back to building. I must admit, this place is starting to look rather nice from a distance. I mean, we haven't actually finished it, but it's a good sign if it looks good from a distance and it's not even finished, you know? So, yeah. Pretty cool. Oh god, I can hear an impending zombie army. Oh, they're right there. Hello! <laughs> That's not nightmare fuel waking up the zombies. I mean, seriously, what is this? The walking dead? I wonder. We have unbreaking three guaranteed on this pickaxe, right? If I was to go ahead and then combine this pickaxe with my fortune one, then we've got ourselves unbreaking fortune pickaxe, right? So, yeah, it might actually be an idea. Hey, buddy! Give me some XP! Oh, yeah, right, the XP's good. Oh, hello, buddy. How's it hanging? Oh, jeez, these guys all the time. Right, give me the XP of epicness. Yes, yes, very good, very good. 30 levels once again. Ha-ha! <laughs> all right, I'm breaking three. Ooh! Very good. Right, what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is we can make ourselves an efficiency five. I'm breaking three fortune pickaxe now. Ah, oh, dude, that's brilliant. <laughs> so there we have it. 13 levels to make ourselves a top tier fortune pickaxe. The only thing missing on it, of course, is mending. So, yeah, maybe we'll get that later in on this series. There we are. Blingy boy. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, your boy is feeling spicy now. So one thought I had in mind as a way to sort of save the white block resources that we have going on, be it quartz or diorite, is to go ahead and maybe incorporate some skylights into the roof here, right? I mean, that's a pretty good idea, isn't it? Be able to see the beautiful night sky above us. I think that'd be beautiful. The only thing, of course, is the fact that we've got finite emeralds at the minute. Unless we go ahead and just keep doing big wood chopping sessions to get ourselves emeralds that way. Then we can use the librarian to purchase glass and go at it that way. Oh man, I wish we had access to sand, but yep. It's something we don't have. It's big sad. Honestly, I really can't wait until we get to the late game where we've got like entire civilizations just full of villagers selling all of the resources that we need, be it glowstone or quartz or 
bricks or glass or anything, man. Anything. We just need all the things. <laughs> So probably the least ugliest white block that's easy to get is indeed the polished diorite. So I think that that is what we're going to be going for. Ugh, I wish I could do something else, but we just don't have access to stuff. Not yet. Imagine if I was playing actual normal super flat though, you know, without villages and that kind of stuff, right? That would be insane, wouldn't it? Alrighty, so that's one corner filled in. Eh, it kind of looks alright. Eh, does it? Uh, okay, I'm actually... Who am I trying to convince? I mean, if I'm trying to convince myself, then I'm doing a very bad job of it, aren't I? It's not the greatest looking thing in the world, is it? But we've got limited access to blocks, man. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, and then, yeah, like I say, we can go ahead and try to add in some little uh, skylight windows to sort of break up the textures just a little bit. Uh, down here, I'm not actually entirely sure. Maybe this needs to be covered over with white carpet or something. I think that might work. Like, if I did this, I think it would look a little bit weird. Maybe a bit skew if. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this. Unless I bring that up at the side there. Uh, is that going to look any good? Like, in terms of the sort of gradient? Eh, yeah, I still think it looks alright. Alright, alright. Let's go ahead and just get it all done then. Would it be a silly idea for me to go ahead and enchant a low-level diamond pickaxe so we can just get diorite with it? Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not something I've ever done before in the entire, what, 11, maybe 12 year history I've played this game. Ah, jeez. All right, well, uh, sure. Let's do it. Efficiency 2. Whoa. Oh, hey. And it's just got on breaking on it as well. I mean, at the end of the day, if what I'm going to be doing is mining up very, very large quantities of stone, then yeah, we're going to work smart, not hard. Smart in that we're going to have enchantments on. Because as much as efficiency 2 may only decrease the block breaking time by like a couple hundred milliseconds, it does rather add up over time the more blocks you mine up, right? So yeah. Probably a good idea. Well, I must admit, I can't say I've ever stripped mined for diorite before, but, um... <laughs> Here we are! This really is a series of first times, isn't it? Like, everything you've ever known about how to do things in Minecraft and how to get things in Minecraft is really rather flipped on its head when you play Superfly. Like, you have to think of some roundabout ways to get even the most basic resources. Like, for God's sake, strip mining for diorite. <laughs> it's so weird. Hey! There we go. Yeah. Oh! Hey! What the hell, man? We're at Y25 and we've got diamond ore. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. The ore distribution is severely messed up here. <laughs> I just don't get it. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, though. I am not going to complain about it. Not even bleeding slightly. Ooh, okay. At least two ores right there. All right, that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, very cool. <laughs> it's still weird though, isn't it? We shouldn't be getting diamonds above Y16. All right, getting pretty close to finishing putting in all of the diorite here for the roof. And then, yeah, we should be looking all right in terms of this place being protected, you know? Yeah, that feels good to say, my friends. That really, really does. So, there we have it. That is the last of it. If we were to pop on down here... Uh, we'll have a bit of a look -si doodle Yeah, all right. Do you know what? Eh, am I starting to like this, actually? Hmm, I might be. It's not the worst looking thing I've ever made. Not by any means. It's certainly not the best looking thing I've ever made either. Like, don't get me wrong. But yeah, diorite is a tricky block to make work with things. But I mean, black and white, they've always kind of worked together, haven't they? So yeah, this works. I'd say that this works. So all we need to do is figure out the wall situation and then we should be good. Yeah. Oh, and also the ceiling situation in here because now 
it's very, very dark in here. <laughs> we don't want it to be dark, do we? No, no, no. Alrighty, guys. A well-deserved snooze. And then I'll show you guys what I have been doing. So, let's check out the exterior now. Hey? I mean, come on. This is looking rather good, isn't it? Hey? <laughs> very, very cool. I'm really liking the warped wood. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It works a treat. It really does. As I go ahead and avoid the millions of mobs trying to kill me. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking good, isn't it, my friends? It is looking all right. So yeah, feeling pretty good about it. And then we head on inside here. All that's left to be done really is to sort of smooth out the ceiling. Maybe get some lighting in here as well. I mean, yeah, lighting, that would probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yeah, aside from that, though, I'm, I'm feeling pretty happy about this. I mean, you know, having limited resources on a super flat world, it does mean that you have to be a bit more creative with the block palettes and such like that that you build with. So, you know what? I'm actually pretty happy with this. I really am. And what do you know? After a few slabs and stairs being placed down, we have this place looking nice and smooth like. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to be added to this to make it look a bit more presentable. Maybe some flower pots here and there once we get access to the brick trades. Yeah, we've got some good stuff going on here. We can get ourselves a bunch of lanterns from the librarians, I do believe, right? And failing that, we could also go ahead and get ourselves some soul fire lanterns from the nether. To be honest, that might work better in here than the regular lanterns do, right? Regular lanterns are very sort of orangey, whereas the soul lanterns are very blue. And we have sort of turquoisey blue accents. All over the place in the form of these two fences. So it makes sense, doesn't it? And yeah, ultimately, my friends, ultimately, uh, the infrastructure of this base is finished. Aside from going ahead and seeing if we can't put some skylights in. Whether or not that is going to be something we're able to do in the next few episodes rather depends on if we're able to get some more librarians to sell us a bunch of glass, right? Or maybe more to the point, we get ourselves some new villagers whereby we can sell them a bunch of our stuff, get ourselves even more emeralds, and then, you know, have an even better time getting ourselves glass, right? I don't know. <laughs> All I do know is that I'm pretty happy with how this episode has gone. I'm pretty happy with how this build has gone. And I'm really, really excited for the future of this series, my friends. And I really do hope that you guys are as well. So, my friends, as much as this may have been a shorter than normal episode, I'm afraid I am out of time to record today's episode. So I am going to have to end it here. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. It is completely free to do. And it really really helps out the video, the channel, and myself massively. Of course, if you're new around here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my future content. And of course, if you have any feedback regarding the build today, go ahead and leave them in the comments area down below. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for all your beautiful support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.